I will now make a demonstration of the new server hunter addition to source tools which will be used to generate a predetermined blacklist on tf2stats.net so that you can um, download a blacklist for whether you want uh, to block any servers with fake player accounts, bots, or uh, disable allow uh, disable or allow the wait command and many other server variables. So here we're going to launch source tools which will start searching for servers and get gathering data for every of those servers. So basically source tools um, takes uh, the list of all the servers uh, found on the master list from Steam and will connect to all of them one by one right away it starts connecting to the first server on the list um, and checking what's going on inside those servers so the server variables that are not at default value uh, and whether or not there are as many players inside the server as it would say on the uh, server browser so it does this automatically it can go through about 2000 servers per 8 hour session so in a day you, it can go through pretty much uh, two or three times every single server for Team Fortress 2. Um, the whole process is automated so there's no how can I say human error there's only automated error based on filtering uh, certain information such as a fake player account since a lot of servers try to trick uh, the system by add adding bots or changing the in-game uh, player counts, as in like if you type status in the console it's going to show that there's only you one player out of 24 but if you go in the server browser it would show several more players so um, it's already at five servers so I'm just going to stop it because you're not going to stick around for eight hours seeing it go through 2000 servers um, so here is hold on let me show you a list of uh, this is what is uploaded to tf2stats.net uh, let's say here there's this server here that uh, reports to be a fake player count server uh, fake set at 25 when there were actually only two players inside including the um, client used for server hunter from source tools so if we check the console log from that session here um, we can see that there's this guy and then the server hunter client and it says two players out of 33 yet uh, if we look at the query data which is um, what we would see in the server browser it says there's 25 players on the server so obviously this is a fake player um, server which will be added to the blacklist for fake player accounts and then we can look at this server hold on um, this server here it says it's set at eight fake players, meaning on the server browser you would see eight players, and there are seven bots detected. If we look at the console, you will see um, here the server hunter, which is an actual player, and everybody else is a bot, except for this guy here. Um, then at the bottom, the uh, A2S query data, again saying that there's eight players on the server browser when actually there's only me, and some other guy and everybody else is a bot so um, anyway the client to do this is private but uh, I wanted to make a demonstration to show you that it's completely fair it's not human error it's not someone going to check the server uh, manually so it's going to be updated very quickly and any new servers removing or adding the, adding the fake player account will be automatically detected and added or removed from the uh, list of servers using the fake player plugin whether it's bots or just a simple fake number thank you